Hi, my name is Taryn Darby, and I'm an avid engineer, producer, and instructor. I'm here today at Sweetwater Sound, and I'd like to show you a couple examples of how I use Pro Tools with Ableton Live and Rewire in my modern day workflow. Now before, as you know in Pro Tools, you can audition loops and grooves with the Workspace browser. It works very nicely. One of the things that I've found is that by, while using the Workspace browser, I can only audition one loop at a time. When I found out that I could actually use Rewire in Ableton's session view, I've learned that I can actually audition more than one loop at a time, which gives me a more creative feel and I can kind of try new things out without trying to stop the music. So what I'd like to do is give you an example of how I can use Ableton Live, rewire it into Pro Tools, audition a couple of loops, and print them into my timeline. Here I have a session that I've already got some tracks written. I got some drums, a bass, and some common melodies going. And let's just kind of listen to the groove real quick. Right. I've already set up my rewire with Ableton. And I'm gonna go over to Ableton now. And while Pro Tools is playing, I'm gonna monitor and audition some loops and grooves. It's a really nice piano groove, so I think I'll use that one. And what you do is you just drag it simply into here and you have your piano groove. Now that I have my piano groove, I'll go over to Pro Tools and play it while the, with the piano. Now what I'll do is I'll audition another groove. I really like that ambience. So I'll drag that in. Now that I have my two audio clips selected, I'd like to print them into my Pro Tools timeline. So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna go near, I'm gonna add this at the breakdown area. So now Pro Tools is recording and it's coming up on the breakdown part. So I can just punch in this piano part when I would like. Now, since this is loop material, what I like to do normally is, is I have one solid loop there. I'll just select that in Pro Tools. I can copy and paste that at the breakdown section. I, and then can duplicate it. Now that I've printed my piano part, I'd like to add that ambient part as well into the breakdown. So what I'd like to do is just simply play Pro Tools. It's playing the piano that I just recorded in, and I'll now audition the ambient part with it. And in Pro Tools, on the next downbeat, I'm going to hit record. Punching in that ambient part where I'd like it. Now again, since this is loop material, what I can do is I can simply, in Pro Tools, select the loop and duplicate it. And that's how you can use Pro Tools and Ableton Live as a loop recorder and print data straight into your timeline into Pro Tools. Have fun recording. If you have any additional questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.